Hi and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to project an image onto your geometry. I was asked in the comments to show you how to do this and um, so here it is. Uh, if you have any more requests in the meantime please feel free to just ask in the comments. I read them all and um, try and respond where I can, when I can and um, make videos based on those comments basically. I mean these videos are generally here to support my courses over on Udemy um, but occasionally I do just random ones anyway to help those students um, uh, with different aspects of the course. So if you want to check out my courses you'll find all those in the comments below also. Okay so um, don't forget to subscribe and like and all that business as well because that always helps and um, okay so let's get started I'm going to project oh, well first of all I just need to bake okay, my textures here um, very quickly I'm just gonna bake I'm not even gonna look at these just bake mesh maps there boom turn off idea I don't need that bake selected textures there we go okay just do that very quickly Okay, now so I've got one, let's get rid of that. So it's just no layers, a square box, a cube if you like, and um, nothing set up. So we're just gonna create a paint, what I call a paint layer. It's just a standard layer. Just click, create one of those. And you'll see it here, which is cool. Um, now over here, you'll see projection. You need to click that and you get this box here and if we come over here on our material uh, you can have tiling mode you see projection tiling mode no tiling horizontal tiling vertical tiling let's try it. just just do that and you'll see that it tiles horizontally let's go down to the base color click on that and we'll choose an image let's choose this atom here i mean this is an, an image that is already inside substance painter but you can bring in your own images as a texture no problem so if we click on that and you can see it's huge if we press s on the keyboard and we hold down the right mouse we can scale that and you can see it's tiling horizontally because we've got that selected we can turn that off we can tile vertically instead if we want to or we can do both or do none just one image uh, press s on the keyboard and scale up again like so and we can move our object around in the scene to position it on our object wherever we want so if you want it on if you want it on a specific piece of geometry or specific polygons then you can go into your settings over here um, and turn on wireframe show wireframe in mesh um, I don't have let me just make it black so we can see a bit more turn display settings off uh, you can see I've got that switched on but if you had lots of geometry and you wanted it on a very specific piece of geometry you can turn that on and you can see it there okay so position it where you want it and paint make the brush bigger so it makes it easier there we go and then move and you'll see that it's left the ghosted image there the texture we can come out of out of uh, projection and just press paint and there you go and because it shares the same uvs on all sides of the box the cube um, it will paint that image on all sides of the cube projected on well projected into the UVs in the same position on every side but basically that's what it's doing uh, but if it was unique unique uh, uh, UVs on each side of the box then it would be unique you know it's only because the cube has got like I said shares the same UVs on all sides um, so let me just quickly run through that again select projection mode select your image let's choose a different image here click on that uh, scroll down let's do this circles there you go let's paint some circles on here like this 
just paint and you can move it there we go turn brushes go back to your go back to your brush turn the um, turn projection off and there we go I projected all those images onto my box very very simple and like I said you can bring in your own textures and do that yourself and that's fine um, yep yeah, there we go so that's very very easy I hope you find that useful and um, I'll see you in the next video bye for now